Hello YouTube, Ryan from Silver Bar Salmon Flies here. Today I'm going to be attempting to tie a hair wing variant of the Green Highlander. This is a red thread, it's a UTC Ultra thread and 70 denier which is a equivalent of an 8.0. And this is a gold oval tinsel and small uni French oval and we're going to take it right back just past the points on the trebles start to form the tag weaving in and out of the weaving in and out of the um pretty of the hooks four or five times on the last one pulled over the top tighten it in don't worry about catching it in just yet I'm gonna wind it Right forward, back to the front. I pull it towards my side on this one so you can see the better side. Tighten it back on right away down. Back at the base of that tag, like it formed. Right, looks all right there. Wax on the thread. The tail on this is bucktail. It's yellow, hot orange, and chartreuse, mixed in equal proportions. And. I've dyed this chartreuse one myself, nice bright thing, but you can hardly see it in the uh, mix with the yellow and the orange, so it just adds a little bit extra to the tail. So you want about one and a half on this for the tail with the treble. Um, loose turn over the top and get your bucktail fibre centralised between the two hooks. So you're happy with where that's sitting before you start weaning forward. Uh, about one and a half times the length of the the hook on the trebles I use because I don't like the fibres being too long on the trebles because the wrap. Back angle cut there. Helps finish the fly off. Try and catch the strays. Uh, the, the tail fibres wrap around the hooks at the back when they're too long on treble hooks. For me they do anyway. I don't know. I'm a terrible caster, that's probably why. There's not one of my casts is the same. Right. Forward slope and cut helps form a bit of a tape around the fly for the finish off when you come towards the front with your hair wings and whatnot. Right, on the way back down, we're going to catch in. Some red mirror crinkle flash and some gold micro flash from vineyards. Good stuff. Strand of each. Strand of each. Over the top. Catch it in. Fold it back. Now you need to get these where you want them. On this bit, because you don't want them twisting around between the two treble hooks. The two hooks, sorry, at the back. Let's we'll try and pull one way or the other. Depends which way I want them. Right. Moisture on that. See where it's sitting. Sitting all right. Yep. Mm, the 
back half of this fly gold holographic tinsel in large Bring that on, fold it at the back. As you go around, make sure your folds the right place to catch your thread underneath. So it covers it, which it is, I hope, before you start turning forward. A few turns forward on that. Approximately half a fly. Couple of turns there. Cut that off. Second half of the body on this fly is an emerald green unifloss 601 ply. Catch that in at the bottom. Pull that back. Wax on the thread. Straighten your fibres out. Oh, it's very twisted this piece. Lee. Make sure you put plenty of floss on because you can come short. Um, I find I've won forward a few things on some uh, flies where I've been tying and I haven't put enough uh, floss on. I've come short right at the very end. It's ruined the whole fly. There are ways you can tie a bit extra in there, but it's better to try and get it in one go. You probably could use a green thread underneath this floss to try and make it easier to cover up as well. In case I've missed any there, I'm just, I seem to be alright with the red lake. And the green being a dark green, it covers up quite well. A couple of turns, a bit of wax. Straight turn at the back with your rib before you start. Secures your tail in, pull your tail around before you get things tightened into where you want them. Start with your forward turns. Try and keep them the same. I'm hopeless at this. Ah, it looks all right. Hopefully. All right. Have a look at that. Not too bad. Underneath, what we're putting on this one first, underneath, is hen hackle fibres. I've stripped them off. I'm getting the fibres there, you see. Just off the hen hackle feather. You want, to, you want to bunch them up and put them in. They're coming into the bend. Just into the bend of the back of that hook. Hold them in place. Over the top with a loose turn. See where you're going to get them sitting. Tighten up. Yeah, they should be alright then. Uh, get them where you want them approximately. Come in with this is good. I'm not going to laugh around with this too much. I'm going to try not to anyway. Super glue. Nice dollop of super glue there. Come forward. Catch that in. Dry your glue up. Make sure you're happy with where that's sitting. I am actually, I'm quite pleased with that. On top of that throat, 
I'm putting yellow dyed guinea fowl fibres. Just pull it off the feathers the same. And shorten these a little bit and put them towards the point of the hook. Same again. Over the top. Hooks turn. Try and keep everything centralised if you can. Just checking as you're tying. Underneath. Sneaky cut. Just find out lovely that actually there. Another touch of glue on this as I like to put on. I look right from that side. Maybe it wants to fold. I don't know what to touch. Yeah, that'll be all right. Bit of wax on. Right, the hair wing on this is a sort of fiery brown dyed squirrel tail. Um, and the stacker, you don't have to stack these if you didn't want. I just like stacking them because I'm a bit particular like that. The squirrel tail, you want to be coming past the bends on the hook. And blending at the tail a little bit, but not care. You can put as far as you want, but I'm not going to go much further past than that because again, the squirrel tail wraps around your hooks. Just turn over the top, the squirrel tail where you want to see it. Right, come in. Underneath, bingo. Cut it off. It'll splay about a touch. Don't worry about that. Try and push them squirrel fibers back with your finger. Get them where you want them. You want a good blob of super glue on here. Soaks right into them squirrel fibers. Plenty wax on your thread here. Warm on the front of the head. Right, that's nice. I would say anyway. Let's see where they're sitting. Need to fold it back a little bit, maybe fold it down. Just give it a nip. Keep the wing profile low. Bit of wax on the thread. And we're going to finish this fly off with jungle cock eyes. Um, jungle cock, the yellow good side facing up. You want them probably about two thirds the length of the body. You could put them half the length of the body, full length of the body. I'm going to put them all two thirds. I'm going to tie them in separately as well because I like. To see exactly where I'm putting each one precisely and make them in a particular way. Again, maybe two thirds of the body, put them where you want them to sit. A couple of turns on. On the trebles, I just have a very slight up, up turn on the jungle cock eye, almost parallel with the shank of the hook. Um, I like the way they sit like that. Couple of turns forward, fold your jungle cock eyes back. It's a bit fussy this bit. Right, and you're happy with where they're sitting, cut the stalks off as close as you can to the base. You want to put a bit more 
box on this radio. I'm going to put a bit more wax on this red because I'm going to go forward and start forming the head for finishing it off. For a whip finish. Once, twice, three, four, do. Whip finish. Sitting where you want it to sit. Doesn't look too bad, that you know. Um, nice strong coating of super glue. Let's finish the head off. And once that's dried, you can put a couple of coats of varnish on, and that's your Green Highlander Hair Wing variant on an Esmond Drury treble. Size 6, actually, I don't think I said the size of the hook at the start, my apologies. Um, you can have a little bit of naff on, uh, get the wing down a bit and stuff, but. That's it basically. That's the Green Highlander hair wing variant um, on a Nesman Jury size 6 treble. Uh, it's a silver bar salmon flies fly. If you like the fly, if it's been helpful the video, please like, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel, and uh, also check us out on Instagram at Silver Bar Salmon Flies on Instagram as well. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.